Today on Trail Recon, I'm pretty excited. We're going to be talking about a very cool Jeep. Uh, and I've got the owner right here. John, come on over, buddy. How you doing today, man? Doing great, Brad. How thanks are for, you? Uh, thanks for being on the channel and uh, letting us take a look at your Jeep. John is the president of the San Diego Jeep Club, and we've actually interviewed John before. He was with us in the Mojave Desert Trail, which was a great trip, and uh, if you want to hear that interview, go over and check out that video. But John, I appreciate you being here today, dude. Tell me, what do we got here? What kind of Jeep is this? Well, it's my pleasure to be here, by the way, Brad. Thanks for uh, inviting me. Uh, we have an AEV Jeep. Uh, AEV stands for American Expedition Vehicles. And uh, this, this particular Jeep was built by AEV. Uh, I didn't buy the parts and put them together myself. It went from the Jeep factory to AEV, and then from AEV to our local AEV dealership here in San Diego County, which is Bob Baker in Carlsbad. So you get a warranty with, uh, with this, the way you buy it, right? That's correct. You get a three year, 36,000 mile warranty on all the AEV products on the rig. Wow, that's pretty nice to get all those accessories and stuff and then add a warranty with it. Well, let's take yeah. a look at it. Tell me uh, what, uh, what do we got going on with the bumper, man? This thing is big and beefy, I like it. Yeah, so what we got here is this is the AEV steel stamp bumper. Um, they, they, uh, they stamp it, make it themselves uh, in their facility. So what kind of winch you got in there? I got a Warn 9.5 CTI, and uh, this is what AEV has chosen to put on all their rigs. So this comes with the Jeep? It comes with wow. the Jeep through nice. AEV, correct. It's, it's been a great uh, winch for me. I've used it a few times on the trail since I've owned the rig. So John, tell me about uh, the tow hook you here you got set up. I know you pull this behind your, your RV. That's correct. I pull my Jeep behind my RV. Uh, I got a Class A motorhome and the, uh, the base plate is a blue ox. It connects into the two tow hooks uh, that uh, AEV provides with the bumper. Uh, that said, it's easy to, to remove and replace, so if on the trail I need my front tow hooks, I just remove it and replace it. Wow. That's a nice setup. I like that. Uh, I love the front look of the GP, and I'm a big fan of the round headlights. Uh, how do you like these? I love them. Uh, what's great about these is that these are DOT approved, right. so I don't have to cover them. Yeah. So when I get on a dark road on the asphalt, I can switch them on along with my high beams. The functional and they look good. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan. And so now you get uh, a pretty cool looking hood with the AEV. Uh, talk, talk to me about it. Well, this is a AEV heat reduction hood. Yep and uh, it works magnificently. Not only do, does the design look good in my opinion, uh, you, you've got a vent here up top, you got a vent on either side. Now this vent I, uh, I closed up with the snorkel, but when you're on the trail, you're running your engine constantly, it's 90 degrees outside, that hood yeah. just works perfectly to re help reduce that heat. I, I love the look of the hood, I think it looks cool. Yeah, awesome. Well, let's take a look at uh, suspension and stuff. All right. All right, John. So let's talk uh, suspension and tires, man. Uh, yeah. What what lift kit do you have on here? I've got the AEV three and a half inch dual sport lift. Three and a half. I like it. Yeah. It looks good. How's it ride? It rides great. Uh, I I don't know the exact technology behind how AEV created the lift, but what I really love about it is how it performs off road, of course. And then when I'm back on the highway and I'm all tightened up, aired up, it, it just performs great on the highway as well. Nice. And it's all under warranty, which is always yes. a good thing. Yeah. Uh, tires, what do we got? Tires, we got the uh, BFG KM2s. Um, this is my second set. I essentially just repeated the uh, the tires that AEV put on them because okay. I think they perform again off-road. They perform great. And then uh, on road, they're not too noisy. Not too noisy. And the rims. I'm a big fan of the AEV rims. Talk to me, uh, man. What do we got? Yeah. The, so these are the AEV Salta wheels. Uh, they're relatively new. I think they've been on the market for a little over a year now. Um, I love them. I think they add uh, a great look to the rig overall. Nice. And they're aluminum? They are aluminum, yes. So they're a little lightweight and they just look good. I, I, yeah. I really like them. So now I know the thing that a lot of folks ask you about uh, is this AEV snorkel. Talk to us about it. Yes, so the AEV snorkel, uh, what it does for me uh, is it helps eliminate the dust that goes into my engine. And what does that for me is the uh, dust cap that I have up top here. Okay. Uh, the dust cap is an additional uh, accessory to the snorkel, uh, but what essentially what it does is it, it's a self-cleaning cap and it keeps uh, a majority of that dust that we all know that we get on the trail when we're out in the desert and beyond. Uh, from going into the engine compartment. Uh, a lot of times I'm at a fuel station and people will say to me, wait, really the water's gonna get that high? And I say, 
think about it this way. When I tell them about the dust aspect, a light bulb goes off and they go, oh, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, SoCal, the dust is bad. I know I change my air filter almost every month because it just gets clogged up so bad. So I love the look of the AV uh, filter, man. It looks cool. Talk to me about lights. You got some rigids on there? I do. I got uh, rigid industry lights. Uh, I've got two flood and two spots. It looks great from the side. Let's take a look at the back. All right. All right, John. So as we're walking to the back of your Jeep, I took notice of your fender, buddy. Uh, what happened, man? Yeah, this is a little piece of trail rash that I got. Um, happened on the Sidewinder Trail uh -huh. in the Coral Canyon Off-Road Park, just uh, east of San Diego. That's a rough trail. It is a rough trail. Uh, Black Diamond Trail. Uh, there was a section of trail where I was uh, I had to make a hard left turn to 90 degrees and I took a little bit of my paint off along the way. All right, John, I know that AEV's got some special goodies back here. Talk to us a little yeah. bit about uh, the gas can and stuff. All right, so right behind the uh, spare tire here, uh, there is a fuel caddy and the fuel caddy holds 10.2 gallons of fuel. Okay, that's a lot. And uh, I love this. I can't say enough good things about this fuel caddy. Uh, the ease of use to put the fuel into my tank when I want to put it on the tank on the trail and the fact that it's centered in the Jeep there behind the wheel, it's uh, yeah. very how, nice. How do you transition? Is there a switch you got to flip or? No, I actually have a, uh, they provide you with a tube, that a, a hose okay. that has a, a bib on the end of it that I just move up and down until the fuel gets to, to the tank and it nice. just, I sit back and nice. wait for 10 gallons wow. of gas to go inside my tank. Nice, that's very convenient. And uh, you got a nice little light back here. Is this stock or did you put this on? This is an AEV as well. Uh, it's the I. PF light, work light. Um, it works great, uh, you know, when you're at night, you need to see back here for whatever reason. Also, the switch that comes with it, the AEV installs, you put it in position one and it turns on whenever I'm in reverse. So it becomes like a reverse light. So when I'm backing up, people can really tell I'm, I'm in reverse. Nice. Cool. So talk to me about the bumper. I know this is a special bumper too. It is. The AEV uh, steel stamps this bumper as well. They make it themselves and then they add here the uh, water tank. Uh, it's, it, it flows across each side of the bumper evenly, uh, holds up to five gallons of water. Okay. Uh, it also comes with a pump so I can pump out the water if I need it. You've got your high lift jack back here and what is uh, what's this setup over here? That is called a pool pal or better known as a land anchor. Okay. So uh, that helps me if I'm by myself wheeling uh, and I get stuck in a position where there's no tree, nothing for me to, to grab my um, uh, winch cable to. I pull that off. It's got a spade that's in, inside the rig. I attach it and it will just dig itself down into the dirt or the sand to help pull me out of a jam if I get stuck. That's a nice thing to have out here in Southern California because there's a lot of times where there's no trees. So that's uh, that's pretty handy. Absolutely. Very nice. Well, let's uh, open it up and take a look at the storage. What do you got? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, John, talk to us about what, what kind of gear you got and what's going on back here. Sure, sure. Uh, so this is typically what I, I have in the back of my rig whenever we hit the trail. Uh, in this uh, cylinder shaped container I have uh, tools to help uh, repair my rig or somebody else's rig. It's filled with hand tools and all kinds of different things. In, in, in these two rigid boxes here I have um, oil uh, for the engine, gear oil, co engine coolant, uh, hoses, fuses, things like that, sure. you know, things that we'll need in case if we break or yeah. another JK breaks, I can help them. There. You're, you're a lot more organized uh, than I am, I think. I think. <laughs> it looks good. I mean, got a lot of good gear. Talk to me about what's going on in the tailgate. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, so this is like my lunch spot, you know, we're on the trail, break out my trail chair, sit down and eat. Uh, this is one of the ones that most, a lot of people really like. It's the Outback uh, table that you can just bring down like this, slide out your little bamboo cutting board there if you want. And then, uh, of course, I've got my Jeep Trail uh, badge of honors here. So when I'm sitting down having a sandwich, I can share stories with people yeah. and talk Jeep. I've only got one, but I'm working on it. We'll get some more. So <laughs> yeah. Nice. It looks good. Let's go uh, take a look at the interior. Got the AV leather seats, which are really nice. I like those. Uh, what do we got for mileage here? Looks like just over 54,000, huh, John? Yeah, sounds about right. Very cool, man. Talk to me about um, your radio system here. How'd you get that logo on there? Uh, that was the work of uh, Swag Captain Mike. Uh, he created that and um, turned it into a file that I was able to put into my uh, my system. Very nice. And you've got your iPhone mounted up there. That's pretty cool. Yes. Uh, I really like where it's mounted because 
uh, I can film video while on the trail on the fly. The mount also has a uh, holder for a hero camera as well. Oh, very cool. And you've got uh, you've got the S pod switches up top, and yes. then you've got uh, these these handles here. How do you like those? I love them. I feel like they're part of the Jeep. You know, when it was constructed, just love them. Nice. Who made these? Uh, Grab Bar USA. Okay, very cool. And let's talk about comms. You've got both CB and Ham in here, right? Yes, sir. What do we got? Got the Yaesu 7900 dual band uh, detachable head. Uh, I went with that radio for several reasons, but the most obvious right now, as you can see, I only have to put the head up front uh, for uh, use. The rest of the radio is behind my rear seat. Oh, very nice. And CB, what do you got? CB, I got the Cobra basic handheld. Uh, 40 channel CB. Okay, and you've got a little switch on here. Is this the one you were talking about earlier? Yeah, that little switch right there is what operates the work light that we looked at in the back there on the back of the rig. And what's this switch we got on top of the steering wheel up that here? That is another switch installed by AEV, and that is the switch that runs the uh, optional headlamps that I have up front that are highway approved that we spoke about. Nice, I like that. That's a light, nice little spot for it, very cool. I don't wanna mm -hmm. miss this. You got your speaker mounted up here. Is this for your ham and CB? That is an external speaker for my ham only. Okay, very cool. Nice little spot. You're not going to miss the audio on that thing, huh? Exactly. Nice. All right. Well, and now I know we're going to talk a little bit about your security system. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about this a little bit more. So the Revelco system, it's a very basic system. Uh, nothing fancy about it. It's just uh, wired uh, pins that was, when I remove this device, uh, it makes it virtually impossible to hot wire my rig. As many of us know in San Diego, uh, Jeep thefts are very high and whenever we get uh, a notice on our Facebook page that a local Jeeper has gotten their rig stolen, I always tell people take a look at this device. It's a very simple device, but it's a very uh, effective device. All right, buddy. Five questions for you. Okay. Favorite mod on the Jeep? Favorite mod on the Jeep is the ARB S-Pod combo that I have mounted uh, in a very convenient location so when I'm done on the trail, I can air up and uh, be out of there. Nice, it's a good system, I like it. Yeah. Uh, what's next? What's next is a roof rack. Uh, AEV makes a roof rack uh -huh. and it's a very sturdy roof rack and uh, looking forward to putting that on top of the rig as well. Okay, very cool. Uh, what's been the most sticky situation you've been in with your Jeep? Sticky situation was uh, 2008. Um, I was uh, wheeling, doing some photography uh, outside of Taft, California, on Halliburton property, and uh, I was uh, on a very uh, unstable trail, and the shoulder broke away, and I ended up rolling down uh, to the bottom of the hill, Ooh. destroyed my Jeep. Uh, and fortunately, I just walked away with some cuts and bruises. Not this Jeep. Not this Jeep. This is no. all older Jeep. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen with this one. <laughs> wow, that's scary, man. I'm glad everything was yeah, okay. So, yeah. okay. Uh, What's been your favorite trail? Favorite trail was in Moab. Uh, actually, a set of trails. It's called the Trifecta. It is Poison Spider, Golden Spike, and Gold Bar Rim. Uh, I completed it in 14 hours with no GPS, doing it old school by myself solo. Awesome. That, I can't wait to get an opportunity to go out to Moab. I'm really looking forward to it. So, all right. What trail is on your bucket list? Bucket list trail is the Dalton Highway Trail. It's in Alaska. Uh, comes out of Fairbanks. It's 414 miles. Uh, the challenge with that trail is you are essentially nowhere near any services, what have you. So when you do a trail such as the Dalton Highway, uh, you've got to be prepared. You've got to have your supplies, you've got to have fuel, you've got to really plan it out. Um, so that's one of my bucket list that's a, that's a good planning overland trip. That sounds yeah, like a cool yeah. adventure, man. Awesome. Well, John, I thank you very much for letting us take a look at your Jeep today, buddy. Hey, my it's pleasure. It's a great looking rig, and uh, I appreciate everything you do for the San Diego Jeep Club. Uh, guys, if you get a chance, uh, go over to the San Diego Jeep Club's Facebook page. They're always posting all kinds of cool stuff out there. And look, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along as a member. And until next time, we'll see you out on the trail.